Bofora with Kenya. Joto la siasa linaloendelea kushuhudiwa humo nchini na hali ya anga bado haujadidimiza ari ya wengi ya kusafiri kwani mji wa Diani kwenye kaunti ya Kwale unaendelea kupata ongezeko la watalii kutokana na kalenda ya shughuli na hafla nyingi za kitalii. Mojawapo ya hafla hizi ni mchezo wa raga maarufu touch rugby ambao huchezwa fukweni ambao umevutia wageni kutoka mataifa jirani. Kwa sasa baadhi ya hoteli zimerekodi zaidi ya asilimia tisini ya watalii. Tobias Chanji Anarifu. Touch rugby ni raga inayochezwa fukweni na wachezaji watano tu kila timu. Mchezo huu huchezwa kama mchezo wa kujiburudisha na kuwashirikisha wachezaji wa jinsia zote za kiume na kike. Uh, we have full house of uh, 28 teams. Uh, so far we are looking forward to have a good tournament. Uh, we have a, a good mix of teams. We have mixed teams of veterans, we have youths. So this this is going to be a, a good tournament. So we are looking forward for the fans all around to come and enjoy themselves. Uh, we have a team from Tanzania, it's called uh, Dick Trill. We have a team from Nairobi, which uh, they have been previous champions, uh, uh, current Crusaders, Legal War. So then we have, uh, of course, the South of Spirits. They have uh, three good teams. Uh, Sofia, we have uh, the Cave, we have Kentest. So all of them, they are uh, good teams. And also we have a uh, technical version of Mombasa, which also they bring a good side. And all the way from uh, North Coast, uh, Malindi, they bring a side as well. Ukiwa katika awamu yake ya 12, raga hii imewavutia situ wachezaji bali pia watazamaji wanaovutiwa sana na mandhari ya fuku kwenye upe ya Diani ambayo imeweka Diani katika karamani ya kimataifa. And we are now having rugby in Diani Beach. This is an event uh, whereby supporting young uh, supporting young upcoming uh, players or uh, we, are, we are we are kind of supporting talents of young people and uh, it's also good for tourism in our in our country especially in Mombasa Mombasa Diani this is tourism area so yeah that's why we are here and we are going to be here for three days today tomorrow and tomorrow but one so um, i want you guys to pull up and join us for this Hoteli zimekuwa wenyeji wa hafla nyingi za mwaka japo hoteli zingine pia zina hafla tofauti. Kwa kawaida miezi ya Machi hadi Agosti huwa ni msimu unaoshuhudia watalii wachache na ambapo baadhi ya hoteli hufungwa ili kufanya marekebisho au hurekodi idadi ya watalii chini ya asilimia ishirini. Lakini sasa hoteli nyingi zina rekodi zaidi ya asilimia tisini. We are going to have we have more than uh, we have about 350 players and officials and uh, we have more than 2000 people who will come because this is a three day event start uh, tonight uh, from around 5:30 p.m. and then it will go on tomorrow and on Sunday. So we are going to have a lot of people coming in. Huko msimu mkuu pia ukijongea jongea ni imani ya wadau sekta ya hoteli na utalii kuwa mambo ya tanoga zaidi. Tobias Chanji, KT News, kaunti ya Kwale. Katibu wa Idara ya Wakenya wanaoishi mataifa nje katika Wizara ya Mambo ya Nje 